Hi, so in this video we are going to take a look at how to remove keyboard clicks from the background of your audio. Right, so on purpose I made quite a few keyboard clicks here and the first thing I like to do is to go to multi-view. So in multi-view you can see much better where the keyboard noise is. And at the very beginning on purpose I made this gap because now you're going to look for a part in your audio where it's only keyboard audible. So this part would work. You can look in between you speaking. So this part would work. This part would work. And this here as well. And what you want to do, you want to find such part where it's only keyboard noise. You select it and you're going to go to effect and we are going to use the noise reduction tool and we will get noise profile so now dusty knows that this part of the audio is noise and if you select your whole audio recording and again go to effect noise reduction it will look for similar audio as the one that we selected and took the profile off and it, it will remove similar audio it finds in your whole audio recording dealing with the majority of the noise and now if we play it back hi so in this video we are going to take a look at how to there's significantly less of the noise now but still you can see there's some leftovers um so what you can do again uh select these like re residues of your keyboard and again go to noise reduction get a new noise profile select your whole audio recording and apply it again if you want to like in in my case i'm using the mechanical keyboard and i'm really going over the board so that's why there's some re residue there uh, for many of you there might be none and you might be fine with applying the noise reduction once but what you will notice apply especially after applying it twice Hi, so in this video we are going to take a look at how to remove... It sounds very thin, so applying noise reduction doesn't come without any cost. It kind of makes your audio sound a bit uh, thinner. So after applying it, even if I'm applying it only once, uh, what I like to do is use the graphic EQ. And with graphic EQ, you will bring back some of that warmth so it doesn't sound as thin and usually these are the settings i use uh for for all of my audio recordings so i'm boosting the lower end from 100 to 200 decibels this is for the demodding um i cut all the super low and super high high end frequencies and I cut some of the high, higher end frequencies from 2K to 6K. Um, but in this case, since I applied the noise reduction, I might even boost it, uh, the, the lower end, by 4 decibels. Or even 5 in some cases. So we do that. Hi, so in this video we are going to take a look at how to remove keyboard clicks from the background of your audio right so you can see it brought back a lot a lot of the uh, warmth to the audio recording making it sound much better than it was immediately after applying the noise reduction so that's that's the way i would go about with the keyboard no noise although it's best to avoid the noise in the first place